Hey guys, back with Espen Matisse, and he's going to show an extremely powerful and unorthodox backtake system you can use in a lot of different situations. And remember guys, if you like the content, be sure to like and comment to help support the channel. So we're going to start off with seeing how this mechanic works. So that's whenever you have the knee like this in a leg drag position and you're trying to do the leg drag, a very common reaction is to open the legs because they realize the danger of having the leg close because it's easy for me to finish. So whenever I'm in this position and I can't finish the leg drag, what I like to do then, instead of forcing this move, is to drop down. So look, I have my knee on top of his knee and then I have oh, the way. pant grip with my right hand like this. And what I'm gonna do is to go and look away from him. As I'm looking away, I'm gonna start to invert like this and now make space for the exit. My left hand gonna grab the hip as well, so I have two hands on the hip and I have an exit. From this position, I have a lot of options. I can switch into like a crab right position, go on top and then start going for the smash here and eventually expose the back. From here, you can also re-invert and then put yourself into an exit position where you can start lifting the hip and tread the twister hook. And from this position, in general, you can also find your way into crab ride. So you can be here, you invert, you set the X hook, and now you spin back and you connect into the crab ride. And from here, you can start to work your finishes like this. You can even go back to a leg drag and then find your way to secure the pass or take the back. So when you really start to understand this mechanic, it opens a lot of possibilities because you can use this in a lot of different scenarios. So just to keep in mind and to notice is that the most important thing is getting my knee behind his knee and then grabbing the pants. This arm, you're not really dependent on having on a certain way. So the most important things is the knee and the hand. Also notice that you're not, you don't need to have him stacked at all. So you don't need to force the stack. So with this in mind, let's see how we can use it in another position. So say for example, the person is having the lasso with the shallow lasso guard, okay? So what you can do from here is you start angling and then you're gonna put your knee behind his knee. And you don't even need to worry too much about the leg because immediately I'm gonna rotate and grab the pants and then start to drop down. Even if he keeps holding the hand, it doesn't really matter too much because he can't take advantage of, it, uh, advantage of it really. So what I'm gonna do here is to make space for the exit and then start working. I like to try, if, if he's holding, I like to try to rip it out here and then free it. But even if he keeps holding, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna spin the other way here and now start to attack. So we just did it from the shallow lasso, but you can also apply this mechanic from the omoplata. So someone shoots the omoplata on you, so instead of having to stand up or force your way out there, what you can do is to apply the same mechanic. I'm gonna get my knee behind his knee and then I'm gonna use my right hand to grab the pant. Here I'm gonna start to invert. If he really keeps my arm, I have to make sure I'm pulling my elbow in because I don't want my arm to be too far out so we can start to attack it. So I'm pulling my elbow out, I'm making the x -suk, and from here I can switch into a crab ride, go on top, or if I can free the hand, I can re-invert and start messing with either the x -suk or the crab ride position. So we're going to include some sparring clips of these techniques being used in competition and in the gym. But also, if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check out Espen's website, www.espenmatisson.com. The link is in the description. And also, if you have any requests for future videos, be sure to comment and let us know. All right, so we're starting off here with Will on bottom playing collar sleeve. He actually has his right hand on the same side collar instead of the cross collar. Um, so he's fighting here, he ends up getting his left shin on the inside of that elbow knee space, which makes it hard to defend the omoplata. From here, uh, as he kicks through, you're going to see Espen starts the roll before he even grabs the hip. So sometimes you can get through a little bit quicker in this position. This is actually an old school escape people used to use. But once he comes through, he's able to switch that left hand to the hip, or in this case, the belt, and he starts to feed that first crab hook in there on the leg. He gets the X hook position and pushes him over to the side. He switches the top leg to come up into a leg drag and then switches back to the other side. And this is a really cool finish where he uses his outside left leg to push in on the thigh and the right shin goes underneath so that you can kind of shelf him on the hip. And this makes it really easy to pull up on top and throw the top hook in. 
So the next sequence where he goes for the omoplata, you see Espen initiates the roll, comes through. He starts to go for the hip, but because Will stays up on his elbow here, he can go all the way up to the back of the collar, which is an even better grip. He still has that crab hook, and now he's gonna roll back through. And again, that top leg right now rolls through and becomes the bottom uh, leg, and then uh, Will's hips are gonna be shelved on that thigh right there. So now you can see all Espen has to do is throw the top hook over, and he comes up and takes the back. Again, here we have another omoplata set up. Espen rolls through, goes straight for the hip, gets the crab hook, rolls through, and again, he uses that foot behind the thigh. His left leg is gonna become the bottom leg, and he shelves him over that leg, making it easy to pop his hip up, and comes up and takes the back. And the last sequence here is from the lapel guard. So Will gets both feet on that lapel. He starts to shoot that shin in and initiates the roll through. He's already got the hip and the X hook type position, switches into the crab ride. And again, he gets that thigh with the uh, cross foot in the thigh and the bottom leg shelves the hip and pops him up over and comes up to the back here.